Okay, we're uh, checking out Steve Ali's 383. It's uh, 14.2 compression. Got a dead hole. Uh, Steve, what number is the hole dead on? Six. Number six. So upon an inspection, it looked like this motor had had uh, severe detonation. But upon an inspection, he brings us over to try to match up a new piston because the ring lands have collapsed. Uh, find out that the uh, second ring has been installed upside down. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't do it. <laughs> it was uh, professionally built. And... Uh, Rings are, rings are stuck and collapsed in the cylinder. And you can see here, there's the dot, top ring. And, and to add the insult to injury, they put the second ring in the top ring, put the second ring in the second, in, in the second group. Excuse me, let me restate that. They put the top ring in the second groove and the second ring in the top groove. And, and install the second ring upside down. So this poor thing never even had a chance. So here's a good example of good parts allegedly professionally built and a total amateur mistake. Okay, in this video, I've got the picture of the piston ring they come off of uh, Steve's 383, blown 383. And uh, in this video, upon further examination, the stuck piston rings, this ring is a Napier style second ring. And if you guys don't know, a Napier style is a second scraper ring that's kind of got a hook machined into the face of it. This was installed upside down with a hook in the number one piston groove with a hook installed towards the cylinder head in the number one position the molly ring you can see here on the end of the molly okay i'm back so the top ring, which was the molly ring, you can see the molly is being blowed out of the center of the groove that the plasma was installed in. This was installed in the second position, and it as well, the dots on both these rings were turned down. I can't even imagine what somebody's thinking building an expensive engine like this and not putting the uh, piston rings on correctly. I, we're all human beings. We're all subject to make a mistake. But this is a big time boo-boo um, here. This is a piston. It's, uh, it's an Icon 400,000 stone. And the uh, guy ran too much timing. That's not the... Uh, had too much timing, but it, of course, had had it not been burned down and stuck the piston rings, had a dead hole, we would have never known that the uh, piston rings were installed upside down. Thanks for watching. <laughs>